Chain Gang, what's poppin', man? This is your boy Tay, back at y'all again with another video, man. Hey, I appreciate you guys for tapping in. Make sure you hit that like button and also hit that bell if you haven't subscribed already. That way you don't miss a video, man. I greatly appreciate you. So I'm outside with it today. I'm at the park. Well, I'm in my car, but I'm outside. I'm at the park. So you might hear a lot of background noise. I think they're cutting grass right now. So I apologize for that. Um, after this video, I'm getting ready to do some grounding, man. It's it's a beautiful day outside. The sun is out. You know, Ohio been cold. So it's finally time to warm up. I'm about to take advantage, soak up this energy, get this vitamin D, just be carefree. And that's what I want to talk about today in this video. We got to stop taking life so serious. Stop taking everything so serious. Let me explain what I'm talking about, man. Make sure y'all stick around for the whole video because I'm about to tap in. You don't want to let every little thing in life get to you. You don't want to let your life beat you down to the point where you're not enjoying it anymore. You see some people and even myself, I've struggled with this too, of being too serious all the time. Especially when I'm on my grind and I got goals I'm trying to accomplish, I get into this mode where I'm so serious and I don't really enjoy what I'm doing. And I had to learn how to stop doing that, right? And it'll be a benefit for you too. When you are too serious, when you take life too serious, you are doing harm to that child inside of you, your inner child. You do harm to it because you are getting to a point where you're suppressing that creative energy. That inner child is all about creativity, having fun, enjoying life being curious learning you have to be present this is why i tell you guys go into your meditation state and learn how to be present in the moment and show gratitude for what you have right now that's going to help bring out that inner child all right when you stop being so serious you also kill the ego your ego goes dormant all right because now you're at a point where you don't care what happens you're not worried about the next move. You need that creative force from your inner child to be able to manifest your reality. But if you suppress that, and this is why on the job, when we're working, it's always so stressful. You know, even if like if you work in a factory or a lot of places that you work at, there's no color. You know, it's just gray, concrete, a lot of dull colors that plays a part on your psyche. Colors are very, very powerful. And it has a lot to do with your emotional state, your mental health, all that. I'm in Ohio right now, and we just getting out of wintertime. So it's been real cold. It's been cloudy. That's why I'm about to get outside in this park right now and get some color, get some sunshine. You know, the grass is, is green and vibrant. The plants are starting to grow back in. I'm going to soak up all this energy. That way I can bring my spirit up and raise my vibration. You know, if I don't know if you guys can tell, but a lot of my videos, it seems like my energy is low. And that's just because of the weather, the, the environment that I'm in. You know, it's, it's very hard to try to put this energy out to you guys and, and keep my energy up as well. When the environment that I'm in is very low vibrational, you know, so um, it's very important, guys, you know, that you are not suppressing your creative energy because you need that and also when i say don't take life so serious there's a difference between being careless and carefree we don't want to be careless we want to be carefree when you're being careless that means you're not giving the necessary attention to your thoughts to your words to your actions you're just doing stuff with no awareness of the consequences and we don't want to do that because you can mess around and put spells on yourself. You can mess around and put yourself in a bad situation. That's going to lower your vibration. You don't want to do that. We want to be carefree. Right? Carefree is stress-free. You're not worried about any obligations. You're not worrying about anything. You know what I'm saying? You have gratitude and you take life as it comes. You have a plan, but also... You're living like a teenager. You're living like a child again, 
Remember those days when you was in your teens, your childhood, even in college, where you were living life, you were having fun. You wasn't worrying about your next move. You wasn't stressing about bills, about a job. And this is why we have some of the best experiences and memories from our childhood, from our 20s and, you know, our adolescent life. It's because you were in the vibration and frequency of just living carefree. It's as we get older and we start piling on all these responsibilities, bills, working a job, and all these things start to bring stress. Right? You start to be serious and don't know how to laugh, don't know how to have fun. And that kills you on the inside. Right? And, you know, what's the point of living if you're not going to live life? What's the point of being alive? What's the point of surviving? I'm not trying to live just to survive. Right? That's not no life to live. And I want to live life and experience and enjoy myself. Like, a lot of people are living their life on life support. You work a job just to make just enough to pay your bills and, and make ends meet. And then you keep repeating that cycle. But you don't have no time for yourself. You don't have enough funds to enjoy yourself. We living on life support. And I know somebody like me, I don't want to live on life support. You might as well pull the plug on me. You know, what's the point of me sitting up in the hospital all day? I can't do anything for myself. I'm hooked up to all these wires and tubes. I'm just here surviving. And that's what a lot of us are doing. We're just surviving. We don't go after our dreams and our goals because we're, we're too afraid. We're afraid to lose something. What do you have to lose? You know, I know if you got a family, you got kids... You got to do what you got to do, but that don't mean you got to kill your dreams either. You still can put energy forth towards creating what you want in your life, right? You just got to, um, you know, calibrate the, the amount of energy, right? Everything has a formula to it, but you can make it happen if you really want it. Don't be worrying about all this stuff going on in the world. Don't worry about these things so much where it lowers your vibration and that's all you think about, right? Because I'm going to tell you this, this world has always been in a crisis, there's always been evil in this world. Okay? There's always been a power struggle. There's always been some type of resistance that we had to go through or people had to go through in order to make it. In order to grow. In order to live. Okay? So don't let all these things happening affect you because it's always been here. It's just now that things are happening twice as fast because people are waking up and not taking the BS anymore. But just because all these things is happening, still keep your free spirit, your childlike self. Keep that energy intact because you're going to need it. That's going to protect you. As we get older, we're supposed to become more childlike. You should become more carefree, right? Because your soul is gaining knowledge and experience. At this point, you should know how to move in this world. You should know that you always going to have bills. You know what I'm saying? You always going to have a moment where... You know, something, some BS is being thrown at you. You should be used to it by now. And you should learn how to just deal with it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Whatever. I got this plan. I'm going to still keep doing what I'm doing. I got my hobbies. I'm going to have fun. Sometimes you got to learn how to just sit back and do what you love doing. Let them create the juices flowing. Right? You like playing video games? Go ahead and, and turn the game on and, and let your vibration rise up. You know, if you like to watch a movie or comedy or whatever, do that. If that helps you become more carefree and, and and lift your spirit up, do that. If you need to meditate, do that. Go out in nature. You know, whatever is going to bring out that peace and tranquility inside of you. That's what we need right now. You know, all this worrying and going back and forth and bickering and all this bitterness that's being pushed at us, man, is, is killing our spirit. It's killing our inner child. All right? So this is a message to you guys, man. I'm just a messenger. And I just want to help everybody become their best version. You know what I'm saying? I know I can't make people believe everything I say. And I don't want you to. Because you, you have a mind of your own. And you have free will given to you by the Most High God. But my words, my content, my channel, I just want to provoke thought inside of you. So that you may change on your own. That's it. Don't worship me. Don't take what I say. Every word that I say as truth. You know, I'm speaking my truth. But it might not be true to you. 
right? So you got to apply what resonates with you. Learn to be carefree, not careless, right? We still got to walk through this world and, and dodge these traps. We got to dodge the BS. We still got to move through this realm in an orderly fashion. Be smart about it. Be wise about it. You know, sidestep the BS. You know what I'm saying? Break the ankles on fear and anxiety and stress. Protecting your energy from low vibrations, from people that's trying to get under your skin. Being mindful of how we're thinking, how we're speaking. Not putting spells on ourselves. Not talking down on ourselves. Not being hateful to others. This is all the things that we have to make sure that we're doing. But still, being in your childlike self. Okay? And when you start moving like this, man, you're going to feel a lot better. You're going to feel lighter in your spirit. So before I go out here and do my grounding, man, and, you know, raise my vibration up, I got some homework for you guys. Spend some time in meditation, you know, whenever you get some free time. And speak to your childlike self. So whatever verse you want to speak to, you can go back to your 13-year-old self, 10-year-old self, your 20-year-old self, you know, whatever is you know suitable for you spend some time in meditation and just pretend you're having a conversation with your current self and whatever version of yourself that you choose and just tell yourself that it's going to be okay you know whatever version that is you're speaking to i know you're going through something right now but everything's going to be okay look at look at us now look where we at doing this is giving reassurance not only to yourself now but your past self because remember, every timeline is is simultaneously working right now. So even though you already lived that past life, that timeline is still on the move. Okay, it's still in existence right now as we speak. So when you speak to yourself like that, man, you give yourself reassurance. And you also heal yourself in the present. Okay. So that's my homework for you guys. But I hope this video resonated with you. I hope that you can leave this video and take something with you that's going to help you on your journey and in your daily life. Okay, so with that being said, guys, if you want to donate to the channel, I'll leave all my links in the description and in my pinned comments. Also, if you need a consultation, you want to speak to your boy, I'll leave a link for that as well. Y'all have a beautiful day, man, and I'm out. Peace.